How did an outage at Amazon take down so much of the internet? Snapchat, Signal, Reddit, your Duolingo streak, your banking app, all those things likely went down on Monday all over the world. The reason, an Amazon outage at one data center in Northern Virginia. Amazon is the world's biggest cloud computing provider, so it runs the infrastructure that lets you make Zoom calls, pay with Venmo, and order a cab from Lyft. Yep, all those big companies rely on one service from Amazon. Amazon Web Services has about a third of the global cloud market. Microsoft and Google have another third between them. That means a small outage can trigger a domino effect that takes down thousands of websites. Critics say Monday's glitch shows the world is too dependent on just three tech companies. For companies outside the US, there's also a national security risk. All that data is stored on American servers. Even governments rely on Amazon. In the UK, the tax website was knocked offline. Amazon says there was no foul play this time, but the size of the outage shows how much damage hackers could do if they hit just one company. The big tech companies say their sheer scale and resources helps keep their services and your data safe. Amazon shareholders seem to agree. Its stock actually rose on Monday. But for the businesses whose websites were down all day, that one data center fault likely cost millions.